Okay, I'll start. Uh, this vertical, uh, is this uh, on the side? Okay. Okay, I already have the mold. This was the mold. Two molds. Two piece mold. Only for the body part. And this mold like this. Close. Okay, like this. And before we start, we have to check the mold. Make sure mold is smooth, it's clean, not a, a chunk of clay or something in it. And also, especially the edge, make sure the, clay, the edge is clean. Because if there's trunk clay, when you close it, it, won't, it cannot completely close. So the shape will change. This is okay. And also, we may clean it with a sponge, with a white sponge. And also, probably the art supplies, they have it. Okay, start ruler piece. Piece clay. This one, I, I'm going to make a little bit thicker. Easy to work. Side is getting white. It's another side, so the clay won't stuck on it. As even as you can rule out a piece of clay. So take off my rings. Okay. This set is flat. This side. Okay, still this bench. Ha. 
parete. This part cut it a bit too much. Make sure everywhere press down. Here is the A was is here. So put a little more clay here. Okay, see when I cut it, I leave this up a little bit, a little bit higher than this level. It's supposed to be same level, so it will close, exactly close, but I leave it a little more clear because I want this edge a little bit thicker, a little bit connect part, join part, a little bit stronger, a little bit thicker. So flip over this part a little bit, just like this. See, can you see it? Yeah. It will be wider. So yeah, for the good for the connect. Because like, you know, like this thickness and the two piece, if both like this thick, it's, you know, if a little bit move, it won't really connect and it won't join very strong. So this will be strong when they join together.
Okay, all like this. Okay, leave there for dry. And we move this. <coughs> okay, I already prepared another piece here this morning. So we don't have to rule our again tax time. This piece. This mode.
If you have any questions, you can ask me. Because when I do this, I probably cannot think about any, any other question. Hi, I have a question. Sure, yeah. How thick is your slab? Uh, this one, uh, how thick? Can you see this? Can you see the thickness? Yeah, it looks really thin. Uh, well, this is very thick for me because this one I want to make thicker so it's easier. It's quick to finish it. Usually I make a, a half of this thickness. You can make it even thicker. You know, for the sculpture piece, it's okay. Because I want, I make thin, thin because I want the clay getting translucent. So you don't have to make this thick. You can make it even thicker. It's fine for a sculpture piece. How thin can you go? Uh, well, how thin? Let me see here. Show me one piece. Can you see this? Oh yeah, yeah. This is the thickness. Okay, here, you see? Can you see here? Like paper thickness. thin, yeah. And you see this flower? Yeah. Like this thing. Tell you, talk to you a little bit. You see this edge? You see the whole, uh, this edge? This flat, and the supposed to be this this part same level with this it's supposed to be. So both connect together or join together. But I make this part a little bit higher. Can you see it? A little bit higher than this part. Yeah. When join both piece join together, so this part will press, compress. So the join part will be connected very strong. Does that make sense? Yes. You get it? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I make a little bit higher this part. Okay. And then slip. Score this or this because this clay is fresh clay is still very white. So I, I don't have you don't have to score it. But this a slip is supposed to be a little bit thicker.
Okay, put together. You see the mold have this thing. We call this a lock, this thing. So put together this. Usually three of this. Okay, see this here, this duck here. Press down. Okay, you see, connect. It's pretty, pretty close. Press down a little bit hard. Push down hard. Okay. Push down a bit hard, all the corners. Okay, this is good, you see? Closed very well. So the shape won't change this. Okay. Turn it over this way. Leave there. That is getting hard, getting a little bit. Uh, you know, the, the plaster, the mold, suck the water. So the clay, the clay body, the fish body will get a little bit hurt and uh, shrinks a little bit will be easy to take off. Okay, leave here. Let's do other thing. Let's make the wings. I already made some wings, so we don't have to wait too long. And uh, I'll make, I'll show you one. Okay, raise thing, you see. Look at this technique, see. Okay, this. Right. Okay, like this shape. Leave there for try. Okay. 
Not. Okay. Because this is a little bit too soft, so I cannot hold it. Let me, I'll dry this a little bit. The clay starts shrinking, so it come out from the mold. See this edge? Clay starts shrink. Soft to hold it. See the fish. Okay, try it by this side. Fix the edge. Let's fix the, this edge. The smoother edge.
Plus Ways Tax Slip. Street plan. Then 
need to fix the mask. Okay, I'll fix this later. I need uh, this a lot of details, but I'll do it later. And then I will, let's do something else here, need more. Okay. In here, we'll dry a little bit. Here. Yeah. 
this one here. Before I put the fans on, glue fans on, I suppose clean this first because this, after put the fans on, this will be hard to clean. Smooth. I like to use this sponge, the by heart sponge, firm sponge. Easy to keep the shape. Make this plan, clean plan. If you have any questions, the mold is getting old, so it's a little bit squashed. It's not very smooth anymore. Sometimes hard to see if it's smooth or not. You see this part looks, from the color looks not smooth, but you can touch it, it's smooth. Very detailed, this part is important.
Okay. It's not perfect smooth, but we can continue to do it. Here. Okay, this one first. Make sure it's a street. Okay. Press hard. Press down. Leave this to a mark on it.
Okay, still straight. It's very quiet. It's very, but it's still there. Yep, we're here. Yep, yep. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, we're here. Okay. Clean this later. Here. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Clean this later when it's getting a little bit hard and it won't be mess. Then do another one. This one. Bottom one here. Okay, you cannot see here. Let me move this. It's too long. Okay. this because still work on it. But it still fires really white, doesn't it? Um, I think it's not as as translucent as before. Still translucent, but I don't know. It seems not translucent than before. Hi, I have another question. Yes. Do I I know there are a couple of different kinds of clay. Uh -huh. Are they all capable of going as thin as you know these fins you're making? You know what? I think all the porcelain can be thin like this, and even bmix can be thin like this. But uh, the stone, I don't think because the stone are getting they have some grog, a lot of grog in it. When you make thin maybe the grog comes. But if it's fine or clay, I think so. I think it's fine. Okay. But the reason why you make thin, because I want to make thin, because I want to get translucent. Uh, some clay, even you make thin, it's still not translucent. So you don't have to, you don't have to make thin. And depends what you want, the result. And also most sculpture doesn't have to be thin and also doesn't have to be translucent. So thicker is fine. Okay. Okay. This one. This one back here. Supposed to be bigger, wider. It's not. Okay. 
here. You're out of the front. Okay. This part, drawing part is a little bit too thin. So add a little bit of clay here. It's uh, really little bit details, little bit details, a lot of details. So it takes time. Seems like you have to work pretty fast though, because it so being so thin, it gets hard fast, doesn't it? Right. Yes. Have to finish at a certain time. Usually I finish this like a two, two and a half hours. Okay, to be really, you know, like this fancy thing can be, you know, simple thing for the mold. So you can, you can duplicate your pieces. Like Janice, you can make a, a, a spoon. We can make a little bit of fancy spoon but still not mm. fancy like this, so you can paint it on the painting it. That'd be great, Mr. B, because my molds didn't work out well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they didn't have the right um, configuration. I would like that as well, Mr. B. Okay. Okay, next time when we offer it, and uh, well, I, I don't know how to let you know. Maybe Lisa can send a uh, a class, the uh, the discrimination. I can do anything and everything, Mr. Bay. Okay. <laughs> Don't be too white because it's not very thick. So uh, if too white, this part is getting soft. So still have to be uh, firm. And also when I make a thinner, even much thinner than this, I have this part. At this part, I will put extra clay on it. So let it get a little bit thicker. So when you put join this, you even press and it's still strong enough. Mm. But I put an extra clay there. Fix the shape a little bit. This piece is supposed to be a little bit longer. I cut a little bit too much.
last one. Same size. Suppose be even on this side. Don't be too low, don't be too high, and don't be back or front. Okay, see if it's even, both sides, same level, and the same. Still, this one is a little bit higher than that one. Push down a little bit. I like to keep this mark. But still need to be a little bit smooth. Okay, this is this. I didn't fix a lot of this thing. Clean the mess. Smooth a little bit.
Okay, listen, that is getting hard or getting that dry, and then clean with a sponge. Like this. Smooth a little bit, but still keep the texture. Okay, it's done. That's good.